All this deep tropical moisture, yeah, that's still faintly associated with what is Tropical Storm Ada. Guys, it's barely moving right now. It likely won't be pushing up to the north until we get to about the next 12 hours. And as it does so, it is forecast to, again, shift more so to the north throughout Wednesday with some uncertainty kind of growing with that track, really the intensity, because simply the strength could impact how this track lies. If it's a little more on the weaker side of a system, it will continue to drift more to the west. If it's a little stronger, we could be a little bit more so to the eastern half of that cone. So we'll have to watch this closely, but big picture, in case you've missed it over the past 24 hours, this track has overall taken much more of a westerly turn. And what's happening is that over the next couple of days, due to its proximity, we're still going to see that chance for passing showers and passing downpours and breezy conditions through the middle of the week. And guess what? Ada is not the only thing we're keeping an eye on. Things are active as we do have Tropical Storm Theta out subtropical storm theta all the way out in the eastern Atlantic. That is going to be of no concern to us. Then there's this area in the Caribbean, a tropical wave in the eastern Caribbean that we're keeping a very close eye on because by the end of the week into the weekend, this could potentially become a tropical depression somewhere around the western or central Caribbean. So of course, we'll keep you updated on all those changes.